Yo what's up, my name is Daniel Flefil and in today's calisthenic freestyle tutorial I will teach you guys how to do the swing 540. The swing 540 is between an intermediate and advanced skill and before you start learning the swing 540 you should have mastered the swing 360 and have a good swing and if you can't do those I've already done tutorials that cover those skills Go down below to the description, click the link and watch those tutorials. Be patient, follow each step, don't skip any step, that's how you get injured. And if you have the possibility to use mats underneath the bar, do that. Now let's start the tutorial. As mentioned before, you need to be able to have a good swing before moving on with this tutorial. If you don't have it, go to my swing tutorial and learn that first. After understanding the swing, we're gonna move on to the first progression, swing 180. We're not gonna go deep into details how to do it, because I've already made a tutorial about it that you can find down below in the description. But for this swing 180, you're not gonna grab the bar. Instead, you will just touch it with one hand like I'm doing here in the video. Swing forward, rotate and touch the bar only, land in front of the bar with control. This is the progression you need to master before moving on to the next one. Some mistakes people do is to push the bar instead of only touching it. If you push the bar you will fly away like this. Another mistake I see people do is to letting go of the bar too early. Here instead of being close to the bar you will fly away from it. When performing swing 540 you need enough speed and height to complete the move. If you don't have that you will not be able to rotate fast enough to catch the bar. When you are on your way forward towards the 540, a rule you can have is that your shoulders should reach a horizontal line with the bar. You don't need to have your hips at that height, but your shoulders should. Your hips are just underneath like in the video right here. So remember to get enough speed and height when performing the swing 540. How you rotate with your hips and shoulders are extremely important to spin faster in the 540 and do the rotation the right way. Many people are doing it like in the video right here, where they are overdoing the kick. This is not necessary at all and will harm you more than help you. I will now go through in details how to kick and rotate with your hips and shoulders the right way, so pay attention now. This is how you should kick with your hips and legs. Imagine that you are gonna kick a ball on the ground. You would not kick like I do in the video right here where you overdo the kick. You don't want the knee and feet to get behind the leg that is not kicking. By not letting your knee and leg go behind the other leg you will have more tension in the core and better control in the end how you kick. When you are about to kick, you wanna first lead your foot and knee up to the roof and then turn it later to the side and rotate. You can practice this on a lower bar where you can stand on the ground while holding the bar. This is a perfect way to understand how to rotate, what you should do when you're going for the higher bar later on. If you turn your hips too early, you will not get enough height to even start rotating in the right position. This will only lead you to fly away from the bar instead. Time to explain how to think about your shoulders during swing 540. When you will swing forward, you want to lean into the shoulders that you rotate towards. It will look like you are locking one arm and the other one is getting taller like in the video right here. One pro tip is that you want to turn your shoulders together with the leg that you are kicking with. In the video you can see that I am turning my right shoulder together with my right knee and I am doing that at the same time. Don't tell anyone, but this is also one of the secret techniques for no touch 540 that I will cover in another tutorial in the future so make sure to subscribe to the channel. The last thing with the shoulders is if you don't turn your shoulders and only your hips, it will look like this. Take your time to understand how to rotate the hips and shoulders before moving on. The next progression is the swing 360 forward. Here you do the swing and complete the 360 instead of a 180. Do this and land with control. Very important to not rush it if you want to master the swing 540 and become a pro at it. But before moving on you need to understand the small techniques to complete the swing 360 the right way and move on to the 540. We are gonna go through the pushing the bar one more time and show you in details how to spin and touch the bar. When going for the swing 360 forward and 540 you don't wanna push yourself away from the bar. Instead touch the bar gently or more like you're slapping the bar with your fingertips. 
you are touching the bar to know where you are. Where you are looking is extremely important during swing 540. When you are swinging forward you want to have your eyes looking at your hand that you are rotating towards, like you do in the video here. You want to have your eyes looking at the hand at all time until you've touched the bar with the other hand. The next thing is where the head goes the body follows that I often say to people I teach calisthenic freestyle tricks. Your head and eyes are gonna rotate over your shoulders. Imagine that you are looking over your shoulders as much as possible after touching the bar. The more you understand this technique the faster you will learn other skills that needs rotation. Let's go through some mistakes people do here. One mistake I see people do is that they look at the bar for far too long and are not able to rotate with the body afterwards. They often get disoriented and lose control of the spin. Another mistake is looking up and rotating. This is a technique for the Dragon 540 or Dragon 360, but will not be a good technique for the Swing 540. A common thing people who begin and are afraid of completing the Swing 540 is to look at the ground. This is a big no-no and will definitely make you disoriented and lose control of the rotation. Never look at the ground when spinning. The last mistake I see people do is to look forward when trying to complete a Swing 540. First of all you will have a hard time to rotate your shoulders and body if you look forward. And it will feel weird and wrong in the end. Look at the hand when swinging. After you have touched the bar, you rotate your head over your shoulders. Why this makes it easier is because instead of thinking that you are rotating 360 after the touch, it will be more like a 180. If you get some valuable tips from this tutorial, hit that like button and also share this video with others. Now, let's continue with the tutorial. This is important to know. When touching the bar, you want to touch the bar on the other side of the hand like I do in the video right here. Some of you will rotate to the opposite side but the rule is the same. Imagine that one hand is crossing over the other hand and touching the bar. Some mix up Dragon 540 with Swing 540. This is a completely different skill and the technique for the Dragon 540 is different. But many mix them up when learning Swing 540. If you are doing it like this, go back to the steps and techniques that I just showed you and go through them to fix it. My favorite mistake because of the name I have for it is the helicopter arms. It's when you are opening up your arms like a helicopter instead of having them close to your body. This will slow down your rotation and don't look pretty when executing. When doing the spin you want to have your arms close to your body. This is important if you want to spin faster and land with more control. After touching the bar you look over your shoulders. Bring in your hands close to your body and rotate with your shoulders to get the speed that you need. This needs to be done together with the swing to get faster spin. Without it, you will not complete the move. Last thing before you try out the next progression is to never start from the top. I did this mistake and it took me longer than needed because I was not focusing on the technique and I instead focused on the speed and power. Technique comes before speed and power. Now that you have all the techniques that I just showed you, try to swing 360 forward and see if you feel a difference. The next progression is to do the swing 540 without touching the bar and only landing in front of the bar with full control. This will be a bit scary from the start. Take your time to overcome the fear. We all feel that in the beginning. Here comes a pro tip and that is to practice the spin on the lower bar where you can have your feet on the ground. This is a good way to get more practice without dealing with the fear and ripping the hands. First you can do everything with your feet on the ground and then you move on to do a small swing and spin like I'm showing you in the video right here. Remember nobody had the perfect technique from the start. All of us need to work on it. The more you will work on it the better you will get. Now that you have the control over the 540 you want to do the same but only touching the bar. Don't catch it. Now is the last step for this tutorial. Take a deep breath and focus on what you are going to do. During this progression you will grab the bar after completing a 540.
If you got some valuable tips from this tutorial, hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more calisthenic freestyle tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.